Section 8.3 of Young and Friedman's University Physics classifies the types of collisions that can occur. So first of all, there are elastic collisions. This would be like when two marbles strike each other and, and part if they're on a surface that doesn't have much friction. There, the, again, technically there might be a small loss of uh, mechanical energy, uh, but, but it's very close when you have a, you know, two pool balls hitting each other or two uh, marbles hitting each other. It's very close to a completely elastic collision in which no mechanical energy is lost, there's no heat loss, uh, etc. In such cases, the kinetic, total kinetic energy of the system remains the same both before and after uh, the collision. Now, there is another kind of collision, and this is probably more normal, and that is an inelastic uh, collision. That's where, of course, the momentum is always going to be conserved because the law, the law of momentum states that, as we saw uh, in the previous video, uh, that if the, the net force of external forces is zero, then the, uh, the total momentum of internal forces uh, is going to be conserved within a system. And so in an inelastic collision within a system, of, of course, the momentum is going to be conserved. But there's going to be some loss of kinetic energy uh, because uh, uh, some mechanical energy is lost in the process of the collision. Finally, there is what's called a completely inelastic collision. In a completely inelastic collision, the colliding bodies stick together and they move together as one body after, uh, after the collision. Let's say you shoot a bullet uh, into a block of wood and it doesn't emerge out the back side. Uh, or let's say that you, uh, two cars crash and they, they crash so hard that they stick to each other. Um, that would be a completely inelastic collision uh, where um, after the collision you have, you've gone from having, say, two bodies, could be more than two, uh, into one body. Total momentum will be conserved, of course, because of the law of momentum, but there will always be some loss of kinetic energy. And so those are the basic types of collisions.